All right, guys. We're going to do some work on the old S10 today. This is a 94 S10 with a 2000 model 5.3 with a cam in it, a performance cam, a comps cam. And um, so the frame has all been done up. It's got a 5.3 with an MV3500 behind it. And uh, I put a 373 positive traction rear end out of a four wheel drive blazer in here. So um, that rear end's four inches wider than the stock rear end, which it makes it possible to run a set of wheels like this. This is a Z06 replica wheel, um, which has all the the spacing on the backspace side, so you gain two inches per side with these wheels right here. So on the front, the front was uh, needing two inches per side, and I had these uh, spacers right here. Well, on a on a stock brake uh, brake rotor, my hub centric spacers would not bolt all the way up flat so uh, I had already put two inch drop spindles on this thing and they're the old school style and I'll show you here in just a second so what we got here today is um, some drop spindles for my little V8 S10 that I've been working on actually before I even started my YouTube channel I was working on it um, and I had picked up these uh, drop spindles these are for uh, um a 98 to 2002 or 2004 two wheel drive blazer s10 blazer and um the unique thing about these is um it's got the uh removable bearing uh as opposed uh, or the seal bearing as opposed to a uh, um, spindle stem with a uh, uh, repackable bearing or whatever but these uh, right here, um, they allow you to, to upgrade your brakes to a degree. Um, these trucks come with a two-piston cast iron caliper and uh, a hat style rotor instead of the rotor that takes the bearings in it. So I got a deal on these things a while back and uh, I thought that I would uh, go ahead and put them on. What, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to shoot a coat of paint on them. Um, I had to source some parts. Uh, since my two-wheel drive blazer, I mean my two-wheel drive S10 was a, a, a older version that didn't have the this type of setup on it. I had to get some brake backing plates. So I've got the brake backing plates. I got the um, the bolts that bolt the uh, bearings into the spindle and uh, so brake calipers. So this one. Has been cleaned up with my my favorite cleanup tools, the fire brush, and uh, this one needs to be cleaned up. And then we'll shoot some uh, paint on them and get them ready to install. So that's what we're working on right now, and we'll show you more as we go. Right, so here you are with the uh, first coat of paint. Everything got a good coat in here and uh, let that dry a little bit and we'll flip it over and uh, spray the other side and these are Veltec spindles so they're they're good spindles so thought, thought it'd be pretty cool all right. We're still getting stuff together for the um the spindle conversion on the V8 S10, and these are the rotors that I sourced off of the same blazer that I got the backing plates off of, and uh, this is the bef the before picture. I mean, 
<clears throat> the rotors ain't really hurt, they just rusty. And uh, this is my favorite tool. This is uh, the after shot after cleaning them all up with the wire brush. So we'll shoot them with a coat of paint. And I mean, the only this part ain't going ain't gonna stay painted, but and it's rough, but it'll get turned down once we <laughs> drive it a little bit. So and it's within spec, so I'm really not worried about it. It should come out just fine. Um, it's not warped; it's just a little a little pitted. So I think it'll be just fine. Um, the brake pads that came off of the same truck with the calipers looked really good. So if they're a little abrasive. And it wears the pads down, no big deal. I'll just put a new set of pads on it. Um, and I'm not out, not out anything, so that's what we're going to do. We've got these things cleaned up and we'll throw a coat of paint on them. And uh, that'll be that step closer to getting ready to, to throw these parts on. So that's what we got going on right now. Um, just keeping at it. So, I also had this puller out the other day, and this thing needs a power steering pump on it. And in order to run this motor, you got to run a smaller diameter power steering pump pulley, which is right here. So, that's the pulley number right there, 300-201. I forget what the application is, a Lumina or something. But anyhow... Since I got to put that on anyway, I got the power steering pump and steering linkage off of a newer model S10 with less miles on it. And so, since I wanted to put this box on and put the pump on, and it's got to break loose at the uh, tie rod ends to do all that, then I might as well do a spindle swap. And these are Biltec spindles. The application is 98 to 2004 two-wheel drive S10 Blazer. So I'm going to run those, which runs a sealed hub. The Blazer runs a two-piston caliper. So we've got all our parts sourced right here. We've got our rotors, our drop spindles, our sealed bearing hubs, which the spacer fits on perfectly. Hub centric and it fits on just like it should, which will make these wheels a bolt on. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get it up in there. We're gonna bust the tie rods loose, change the steering linkage, put the power steering pump on. Then we'll stop, swap the uh, drop spindles and uh, all that stuff, so hang tight. Oh, good thing that was last year's nest. That might have been ugly. All right, so we got her up. We'll slap this stuff off. See, these are the old school uh, spindles with the hubs. And the hubs get the wheel bearings on them. So we're going to switch that out. That's a drop spindle, but it's, like I said, the old school style drop spindle. So, hang with me and we'll show you what's going on. Alright you guys, if you don't know this little trick, if you got a, a ball joint or a steer knuckle that wants to turn loose, that's all you got to do, a couple whacks with a hammer, it'll come right out, and there you go. Alright, so we got the steering box and steering linkage off. And as tight a fit as it is, we're going to bolt the, steer the power steering box up first. So here we go. I'm going to bolt this up. Alright, so we got the power steering pump bolted on. And obviously, got power steering fluid in the Dagon system. Dripping all over the place. About standard. All right. All right. 
So we got the steering box on and the steering linkage on. Alright, we'll we'll hook the power steering lines up next. Alright. Alright, we got the power steering hoses hooked up now. So got all that in. So we're ready. Ready to put the power steering pump pulley on. Alright. Alright. So we got our power steering pump, power steering pulley, all our linkage hooked up. And you see it's quite a bit smaller diameter pulley than was on there, and that's to clear that steering box. Because it's it would clear, but it's a tight fit, so this kind of eliminates any problem of maybe a motor rock or whatever. So got that. Alright, so then we we come over here. This is the old spindle and, and hub and everything. And uh this is the new spindle. And then we're gonna put the hub on there. Hang on. Okay, so that bolt on from the back side and this one top one got a stud in it that would get some nut on the front side. So. Alright, so that's all tightened up. That's how that works, and then you clip your analog brake line, sense your analog sensor up. Alright, so then you got your rotor on. And then in my case, we'll put a, a spacer on. Alright, so we got the spacer on. And we're gonna bolt this caliper on, but it needs uh it needs some cleaning up. But we're gonna bolt it on anyway just to to show you what we got here. So here we go. Alright, so there it is with the caliper bolted on. So from that to that. Right there. All right, we'll throw the wheel on. Let you check that out. All right, she's a little dirty because she's been stored for a while, but that's the finished product. Z06 wheels on the S10. So, got the other side to do, but that's what she looks like. It's going to be pretty mean. Um, so, one more step in the process, but she's going to look pretty awesome. 5.3, 5 speed. 
06 wheels. She's dropped four in the front and four in the back. I think it's four in the back. It's two inch drop springs, two inch drop spindles in the front. I'm pretty sure it's dropped four in the back. I can't remember. It's been a while since I worked on it, but she's going to sit pretty awesome, I think. So we got this one side done. It's time to go, go inside now. So we're going to quit for the evening, but that's what we got. It's new, new steering linkage, newer power steering box, power steering pump, and a smaller diameter power steering pulley all to make this thing work. So y'all stay, stand by and we'll keep you updated as we go, but it's going to be cool. Promise you that. All right, guys, take care. See ya.